my focus is on really how do we focus on deep learning and technology can, you know, enhance that in many ways, or and sometimes it doesn't, it just kind of matters on the situation. So when you were actually thinking about when you brought me in, like, what was some of the thinking behind that to like, why, like, why at the time in Clover, we were talking about this, a lot of people, I talk a lot about change, a lot of your staff actually um, grew up there, went away for a couple of years and taught there. So, you know, maybe change is not their thing in some ways. <laughs> So what was some of the thinking behind bringing me in to, to talk to your staff in the to, first place? today so our thinking for bringing you in to and just to give it a little bit of context uh before the pandemic hit our district what we were trying to dip our toes into personalized learning and so we had a, a mini conference uh it wasn't anything quite like the scale of what we did this summer right. uh, but we had one because we were trying to dip our toes into it and i will say if i think back to those times before the that we were really thinking about the what of personalized learning like the flexible seating and that sort of thing rather than the who of personalized learning and so the who of personalized learning is, is the kids and then of course their teachers and so um one of the things i think george that resonates in all your books is is that that whole heart piece and the building, the connections is what resonates there. And so we we wanted to give teachers the permission to understand, yes, we're, we're focused on academics and we're focused on high standards and, and we're not ever saying that we're not. But before you can get to those pieces, you really have to connect with the kids and get at their heart. And so one of the things that I think everyone sees coming out of the pandemic is, um, you've really got to work a little bit harder in building those relationships with students and making that connection with them. And so we felt like we needed to give our teachers some permissions to think about building connection and make building heart um, with your students and, and just and loving loving your students. And that's why we really thought about that. So today, this summer, the thought was focus on the kids and and the whole ownership and agency with the around the kids. And that was the thinking for this summer. Now, we're going to move on and, and we're going to do uh, some more connections because we already have a, a date on the calendar for uh, the 2023 mini conference. Mm -hmm. But in bringing you in, we were really trying to connect with our teachers hearts to mm -hmm. show them we appreciate you. We love you. We thank you for what you're doing to support children. And we're going to work on how do we build those connections with kids. And, and what, I, like, what I love about that is the idea is it, it's not stops at relationships. Because I think a lot of people get kind of, you know, when we talk about that, it kind of starts with that. Some people get a kind of like a fluffy feeling, right? Like it's just yes. like, oh, we love the kids. And I'm, yeah, of course we love the kids, right? right. It's actually, it is actually to build that relationship. It is way easier to challenge kids, to push them, to get them to right. live Right. When when they yes. when, when you're pushing them and, you know, they they're they're not as nervous to fall because they know someone has their back. back. That's, That's part exactly of it. Too. Right. Like I'm actually I think years ago I wrote a blog post like saying like relationships are important, but they're also not enough. Right. It's, it's exactly. the beginning of that um, and then kind of moving forward. <laughs>